What's going on guys? It's Mr. Affleck 9916 and welcome back to MLB 16 the show Road to the show episode 20 here in this video. I hope everyone's having a good weekend so far. It is Saturday night. Last night after I uploaded a couple videos, uh, unfortunately my Pittsburgh Penguins lost and the Minnesota Twins lost to the Toronto Blue Jays. Fun story, my brother's favorite team is the Blue Jays and my favorite team is the Twins. The Blue Jays won the first two of the four game series. Twins won the third today, so hopefully uh, we'll split the series. I think that's a fair way to uh, end a sibling rivalry, right? But um, my Twins are doing absolutely horrible so far this year. They now have tied for the worst record in baseball with the Atlanta Braves, which is absolutely embarrassing because last year they won 83 games, and I thought this year they could win 85 or 86, but they have not been very good this year, despite the fact that on paper they're actually as good of a team, if not better, because some of their young players are growing up a little bit. But kind of sucks. Not really much else you can do. Um, then tonight I also watched the San Jose Sharks and St. Louis Blues. St. Louis won 6-3, to three, and that series is tied as 2 as well as my Pittsburgh Penguins. They're tied 2-2, two to two, so for you hockey fans, it's been a good series uh, on both sides of the aisle, East and West, so far. But back to this game now. Um, we walk the first batter of the inning against the Iowa Cubs. We come in with a 5-3 to three lead, 2-2, two to two, or 2-2. Two and two. And we're going to get a, um, a ball on the inside. So it's 3-2. Trying to come back from that walk with a double play. He does hit it on the ground, but it finds a gap down the left side. And he is on with the base hit. So there's now runners on first and second. They're going to do a pinch hitter at first base because the tying run is now at the plate. So all of these runners matter a lot for Iowa. I'm sorry, the tying run is on base actually here at first. Next batter comes in. He's going to bunt. I throw a fastball, he lays it down, third baseman Fields flips to first and makes the play. That actually ended up being kind of close, but we do get the out. Unfortunately, the tying run is on second base now in scoring position. So at this point, I didn't want to lay anything in too much. I was just kind of aiming for the corners. I got, look at that, two bad calls in, the row, in a row. It should have been 1-2. and two. Instead, it goes to 3-0, and oh, and I'm going to end up getting a walk. It's not a huge thing, bad, because it does set up the double play, but now the bases are loaded, and the winning run is now on base. So, next batter comes in with one out. We get it to 1-1. One and one. Next pitch, swing and a miss on a fastball. I got kind of lucky right there. Thank goodness I can throw fast. Goes to 1-2, and two. and the next pitch, he swings and misses at a 99-mile-an-hour fastball. Good pitch by Jack Davis right there. Next batter comes in now two out. We go a sinker down low. It's one and zero. We end up dropping to two and zero. At this point, I got, I gotta throw strikes. I'm able to keep that one in the zone. I mean a walk would. I guess a walk's better than a base hit right here, but I do not want to throw a walk. We throw that one inside. The catcher's able to uh, field it, and he starts running it to third base for no reason because apparently he's mental. 3-1 <laughs> count. We get him swinging and missing on a fastball. So now it's 3-2 with two out. We have a chance here to uh, put this game in the books, finish out this save, and I think... The best pitch to go to in this situation is our fastball up because that's our strikeout pitch. Here's the pitch. It's inside, but he swings and misses at 100 miles an hour. Boy, did I get lucky right there. Sometimes luck is not on your side. Sometimes it is. And I got lucky that he decided to swing at that one. And just barely the Chihuahuas win the game. So good job by Jack right there. We're now 14 for 16 on the year for saves. ERA down to 2.40. That's pretty good because it was up like 5 if you remember just like two episodes ago or something like that. But we are on a streak right now of uh, not letting up a lot of runs. So next game, we only have a one-run lead against the Iowa Cubs. And the first batter, it is a 2-2 count with zero outs. Going for the strikeout now. Here's the pitch. He's going to pop this one up to right field. Should be an easy play for the right fielder. He'll come in a few steps, and he'll make the catch. So there's one gone. Good way to start. Uh, this game right here. Next batter comes in. First pitch to him. That's going to be just inside. Sinker uh, just kind of tailed inside right there for a ball. So the next pitch is a 1-0. And that one's going to be swung on. Belted to left field. This one is up. And this one is back. It is gone. A long home run. I thought that was not going to make it out. But it did. And... This game is tied. I blow my third save of the year. Now I think 14 for 17 on the year in saves. Still not terrible, but kind of unfortunate right there. 
I really do let up a lot of home runs. That's something that I really got to add some training points towards is home runs against. I cannot keep letting up home runs like this, guys. This is just not good. Now we still got to finish out the inning. It's 3-2 to the next batter, so we don't want to walk him. We're going to throw a pitch in the zone, which he fouls off. So it remains 3-2. and two. And then with two, I'm sorry. I must have put the wrong pitch in. I think we struck him out or something like that. But as you see, we do strike out the next batter. And uh, I kind of missed the pitch there. It didn't really matter, though. Um, we lose the game, but I don't get the loss. I just get the blown save. So that's kind of what happens there. I'm going to add some training points to actually my stamina. And we go to the next game. Take a look. Last 10 games. 8 for 10 in save opportunities, ERA 1.80, 13 strikeouts in 10 innings. So I'm playing very, very well, to be honest. Um, that last game was kind of a hiccup, ERA at 1.80. That's pretty dang good over 10 games, I think. Coming in at the bottom of the 15th against the Omaha Storm Chasers in this game. Not quite as crazy as our 27-inning game from a couple videos ago, but still real late in a ball game right here. Trying to take advantage of the batters. They're all probably very tired at this point. That guy didn't even want to swing the bat. He just looks out of sinker in the zone for strike three. Next batter comes in. First pitch to him. That's going to be another sinker in the strike zone. That pitch has actually turned out to be a lot more reliable than I ever expected it to be. So it's 0-1. Next pitch to him. He swings and misses. He's late on that 99 mile an hour fastball. And we're just going to try to blow it by him. As I said, everyone's tired. And it looks like he is too because he swings and misses for strike three. So there's two gone. And trying to go towards a very, very quick save. It's after uh, that last game, which was kind of a disaster. 1-1 with two out. Here's the pitch. Hits it on the ground. Third baseman fields. And he bobbles it. And the runner will reach first. So... That's not my fault. That's an error right there. Now the tying run is at the plate. He hits it on the ground. That's going to find a hole for a base hit. So runners on first and second now all of a sudden. And it looks like we're in another jam at this point because the winning run's at the plate. First pitch to him with two out. That's 99 miles an hour in there for a strike. Going on the curveball 0-1. He pops it up. And this should end the game. Right to the first baseman. Gets under it. Makes the play. And... The El Paso Chihuahuas win the game. Jack Davis gets the save and a good way for us to end this video. Two out of three save opportunities we converted on in this video. Of course, there's that one home run. But overall, we're still playing well. Still making that bid for the MLB. Hopefully, we'll get there soon. I really, really want it. Um, I'm getting sick of this minor league crap. Can add some training points. We're up over 69. Now we're in the 70s in our overall. I like that. We're starting to get to the point where once you reach 70, that's when you seriously are getting close to the MLB. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. For now, we'll see you next time. I'm Mr. Aflac, 9916. Peace.